Zakir, uh, I am a Muslim, but where I have you? a friend. Where are you? Where are you? Friend, where are you? Friend. Please, right here. can we give to the non-Muslim class question directly? You can be the first Muslim man afterwards. Is there any non-Muslim directly? Yes. Yes. Yes, by the top, can someone pass the microphone on the first level, on the right hand side? Is the non-Muslim brother would like to ask a question? <laughs> if there are any other non-Muslim sisters, they can be on my left. Non-Muslim sister? Yes, sister. By the way, the microphone is reaching to the gents. Mashallah, the lady in the room are more brave, strong, courageous. Mashallah. <laughs> Your profession and your question. Dr. Zabrinan, first of all, I would like to thank you for uh, opening my eyes to how important it is not to follow any. What's the name, sister? What's the name, sister? My name is Priya. Priya. Okay, sister. First of all, I would like to thank you for opening my eyes to how important it is to not follow any faith or religion blindly. Now I realize how important it is to have questions to what you should and should not follow blindly. So my question is uh, for why was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, only the last prophet and no one after to guide in the sinful world. This is a very good question. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger. Why will no other messenger come after him? That's a very good question. People also ask me that. Why wasn't Prophet Muhammad sent the first and Quran revealed first then no problem? Both questions are valid. Both are valid. Like my son says that I want to become a doctor. Why don't you put me medical college directly? I said, no, but first you have to go, my son, to the nursery. You need to get the first standard, second standard. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, he knows the human being the best. He knows what is the final message? He knows that the human beings have not yet developed to receive the last and final message. So therefore, all the previous messages that came, they gave the basic message of Tawheed. Believe in one God. The Quran is the last and final messenger, which is the perfect and the final message. All the other message was perfect, but they were in brief. Like when you go to nursery, you study A, B, C, D, and then you keep on going ahead. Then mathematics, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 plus 3 is equal to 4. Then you study other things, multiplication, division, and you keep on evolving. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that when human beings were there, first he gave them simple message depending upon the development. And Allah thought 1400 years ago was the right time that now human beings have developed to assimilate the Quran. But the beauty of the Quran is Allah knew that human beings would further develop. But the minimum requirement to receive the Quran was 1400 years ago. Human beings are there since hundreds of thousands and millions of years. Allah, Allah, we don't know. We don't know. So, what did Allah do? Allah released the last and final message of the Quran. 